In this video, we're going to do a side-by-side -side tasting of Old Forester Original and Old Forester Statesman, which Old Forester put out as a tie-in to the film Kingsman Golden Circle. If any of you have seen Top Whiskey videos before, you know that I'm a bit of a film dork. And this is the part where I would normally cut to a clip, but cutting to a clip of me setting up a clip seems a bit over-constructed and convoluted. You create the world of the dream. We bring the subject into that dream, and they fill it with their subconscious. There are entire websites dedicated to whiskey sightings in films. Well, there's one website, but that website's really good. ScotchCinema.com, you should check it out. It's great if you love film and you love whiskey, and basically you're just a massive nerd, vis-a-vis -vis me. You're that nerd! Most of the time, these films are subtle in the way they reference whiskey. Okay. I love shivers. You might get a whiskey label, or maybe a bit more aggressive. Glenn Levin okay? Oh yeah, better than okay. In Kingsman Golden Circle. This ain't that kind of movie. The product placement is as subtle as a gunshot to the head. There's nothing wrong with that. This isn't exactly the first time that a spy film has been used to promote whiskey. 50-year-old McAllen. Particular favorite of yours, I understand. So it makes perfect sense that a film satirizing James Bond is going to promote whiskey. Matthew Vaughn explains it. I thought I wanted to do merchandising and licensing, and I thought, what is the high-end American bourbon that is good enough to join with? I think we're going to Kentucky. But it does get a bit gratuitous. As if any of us needed a reason to look at Channing Tatum's crotch, Basically, the whole film is one big sponsorship deal. Contractor, no. I will not bow to any sponsor. Matthew Vaughn said, and I'm quoting the New York Times here, product placement is something I won't do. What's really important to me is keeping it so real. Maybe I'm wrong on this one, but for me, the beast doesn't include selling out. Right now, you can walk into a shop on St. James Place and buy a Kingsman umbrella for 300 pounds. I'm not making that up. That is true. When the first film came out, you could buy Colin Firth's entire wardrobe on MrPorter.com. It's like people only do things because they get paid. It's not the same thing as just gratuitous product placement. It is integrated, and the clothes and the bourbon, it is part of the story. So I can sort of see what Matthew Vaughn is getting at. Yes, and it's the choice of a new generation. There are two whiskeys that are featured in the film. There's Statesman from Old Forester, and there's Kingsman from Glen Droning. The Kingsman is a 1991 Sherry Cask limited edition. Each bottle is signed by Matthew Vaughn, and interesting fact, Glendronic is Matthew Vaughn's favorite distillery, and it's a 1991 vintage because that's the year that Eggsy was born. The only problem is that the bottles cost 550 pounds. We're not trying that whiskey. What we are going to try is the Old Forester Statesman, and we're going to try it side by side with the original Old Forester. They make a really big thing in the film about saying that Statesman is 95 proof. Now, you might think that Statesman is just the standard Old Forester, which is 86 proof, up to 95 proof. There's a scene in the film where Channing Tatum explains why it's called proof, but because the film's not out on DVD yet, uh, I can't cut to that clip. So, you're either going to have to use your imagination or just go see the film for yourself. Statesman uses the same mash bill as Old Forester. It's 72% corn, 18% rye, and 10% malted barley. So, 
It's the same composition, but the main difference is where the barrels are aged in the warehouse. These come from the hottest area of the warehouse, so it's meant to be more like a batch whiskey or a special blend of Old Forester, rather than just the upped proof. But let's take a look. The first thing we're going to look at is the color. They're pretty similar in color. If I was really pressed, maybe I'd say that the Statesman is slightly darker, but six one, half dozen of the other, I'd say the color is essentially the same. On the nose, the Statesman is, is interesting. It's got some strong rye characteristics, which you'd expect from a bourbon, but it also has some sort of dark fruit flavors to it, like a, a really dark cherry. Um, it also has sort of a mustiness. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's got kind of an acetone, but it's not unpleasant. The Old Forester on the nose, you get caramel, vanilla, strong rye characteristics, definitely what you would expect from a bourbon. And on the palate, it delivers exactly what you smelled. This is a really strong, standard bourbon. And I like it. But now let's try the Statesman. That'll make you want to slap your mom right there. Um, no. This does not make me want to strike my mother. But it's actually a pretty good bourbon. It's got a bit more body than the Old Forester does. Uh, it's richer, fuller, and a bit more peppery. That really surprises me. This is really nice. I must say you are really not as I expected. You don't make a bourbon for over 140 years unless that bourbon is pretty darn good. And Old Forester is pretty darn good. Now, I went into this very skeptical about a movie tie-in whiskey. But I have to admit, I really like the Statesman. It feels a bit more complex, more full-bodied, and I really like the pepper that the Statesman has. It hurts my head to say it, but I think I like the Statesman more. I can't talk about it anymore. It's giving me a headache. Here, take two of these. If you want to know what's going on in the world of whiskey, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We post a new video every week. And give us a like if you enjoyed this video.